And uh, there's no doubt that um, uh, the new material that they introduced is binding nicely with the surface. Janowski knows this place well, and uh, he needs a big Grand Prix, missing the first round with the injury dramas to his shoulder. Uh, not a good Speed Wave Nations either, so second half of the Grand Prix series needs to really hit the ground running into his first real open lap. Bit of a bump there, a little hole on the first corner. He missed the first round, but he's still in eighth position, which would be enough for him mm. to qualify automatically for next year's series. But it's very tight there. So Just a bit, yeah. It is, so you can ill afford to be complacent. He needs a big result to make sure he secures his top eight place. He's 14-2, that's two tenths behind uh, Schmarz. Look at this stage. Classy rider, Janowski, real classic style on the bike, like the way he rides. 14-2, very consistent indeed. Track just um, uh, a little patchy. I spoke to Martin Vasilik earlier, he said he was enjoying it, but it was a touch patchy, but um, uh, let's see if he can produce something on his third lap. Yes, he can. That's a fabulous third lap. 13-9, that's, uh, that's a little quicker than Smarslik. Good effort, very good effort. Yep, Matt Sajanowski from Poland then, as Kelvin mentioned a little bit earlier, knows this track extremely well. And one of a clutch of riders trying to uh, gain automatic qualification for next year's Speedway Grand Prix Series. Having a little cheeky start down the back straight. Too good not to be in the series. Yes. He's a multiple Grand Prix winner, potential world champion. And the Poles like him, of course, the reception he had in Wrocław two weeks ago was outstanding. They loved him, just missed out on the final.